just finished testing the Stratus 186 Velo. Now, this boat, as it sits with a 115 Merc, goes for 22 and change, which is just ridiculous. It's fantastic. I mean, it's a fully featured bass boat, and it really performs well. We got on plane in five seconds flat to 30 miles an hour in 9.5 seconds with a top speed of 48.6 miles an hour, which is really ripping. Now, what's nice about this boat is it really corners pretty well. You know, bass boats are not really known for that, but uh, we actually could crank this around really nicely. No blowout at all. Let's head back to the dock, check out some of the features. Well, you know, Jason, last year we tested the 176 Velo, and I was just blown away with its affordability and capability. And with this 186, man, you've gone crazy, I think. I can't believe the price you guys, what is the price you have on this thing? Well, it starts at $20,800. Um, price is shown here, you're looking at about twenty two nine maybe 23. I mean, you look at this boat, it's, this looks like one of the high dollar bass boats that are way out of my reach. Well, absolutely, you know, and that's definitely part of the, the charm and, the, and, and our direction too with the boat is, you know, last year we created the 176 Velo, we launched it, we did a piece on it. This year we, we've upgraded that line to this 18 foot nine inch model and, and it went head to head with the aluminum market. And a lot of guys buy aluminum because they think that that's all that they can afford. And we've given them an option now. Now they have the right or the ability to choose fiberglass over aluminum. Right, it's a great looking boat too. Well, tell me about some of the features you have up here. Well, obviously, you, you, first thing you notice is the size of the deck. I mean, two grown men standing on the front deck comfortably on an 18 foot bass boat. You know, we have features that are standard such as a recessed trolling motor foot pedal. We have an offset bow, which allows you to mount the graph off to the side, which keeps the trolling motor cord off of it and obstructions right. off of it so you can see it better. Um, things that you'll notice is like the consoles are offset from the gunnels, which allows for longer rods to come mm. down and stuff. We've got plenty of storage in the front deck. We've got a center rod box. I mean, it's just it's just loaded with lots of goodies that every fisherman wants. And yeah, needs. it's like big boat features all over the place. Absolutely, for sure. absolutely. Well, Jason, it looks like we have a nice uh, functional helm here with electronics. It looks like we have a little extra room to grow if you wanted to as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we can flush mount up to an HDS seven seven inch screen in in the dash comfortably um, and as you can see i mean you got all your rocker switches right here at a finger's notice they're circuit breaker protected and they're recessed also which what that does for you is it actually helps to protect the switches from getting inadvertently turned on mm -hmm. comes standard with four gauges so you've got all the right instrumentation so that you can monitor what's going on at all times right the seats are actually dedicated bucket seats they're not the typical fold down seats that you would see in a lot of the aluminum models yep. and stuff and so we, we think that this is a really nice package. It's laid out really nice. It's not a it's not a boat that gives you that I had to settle feel. Yeah, it definitely does not exude uh, like you uh, you skimped on anything. That's exactly right. Well, I tell you, for a sub 19 footer, it's a nice little back back deck here. And uh, show me the live well. Well, yeah, every fishing boat is not complete without a tournament grade type live well. And here you can see you have a very large live well built in, has a removable divider. So if you wanted to go out and maybe do some striper fishing or something of that nature, you certainly have the space to do it. Sure. We have more storage here. Oh, absolutely. Great. We've packed the boat with storage throughout, you know, deep pockets here that you can store whatever kind of gear or tackle boxes and such. And, you know, just the sheer space of the aft deck gives your partner the room that he needs with his gear and stuff makes him comfortable if he's comfortable his stuff's not spilling over into your area and making you uncomfortable yeah unbelievable package for the money absolutely you know and, and as you while we're back here we might as well talk about the fact that stratus is able to offer your power of choice and we offer you a mercury Evinrude, yamaha suzuki and you know so it's it's really it really is no longer a matter of i've got to settle for what this guy sells right you can have it your way well it depends on the service in your area too Absolutely. Now every dealer is different and every dealer sells something different, but, but more and more you're seeing where the doors are opening and dealers are able to sell multiple lines and stuff. And so it makes it a whole lot easier on the bass boater who's wanting a certain engine, a certain size boat. Choice is good. For more information on the Stratus 186 Velo and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones and we'll see you out on the water.